Welcome back to Radio Oddity's YouTube channel. In this video, we will be taking a look at the Russian woodpecker, or the Duga 3 radar to give it its proper name. Duga 3 was an over the horizon radar defence system built in July of 1976 in the town of Chernobyl, Ukraine, as an early warning system to detect low orbit missiles launched against the USSR during the Cold War. The radar was extremely powerful, with its transmitting power sometimes exceeding 10 megawatts, and it often appeared without warning across multiple shortwave frequencies, giving it the nickname Russian Woodpecker due to the high pitched repetitive tapping noise. The interference randomly hopped frequencies, causing problems for legitimate ham radio operators, oceanic commercial and aviation communications and utility transmissions, giving rise to thousands of complaints from countries across the globe because of the intrusive signal. Such was the notoriety and strength of the transmission, radio transceivers and television sets were manufactured with woodpecker blankers to try and eliminate the interference caused by the Duga array. For many years, the signal was unclaimed, which caused many conspiracy theories, such as Soviet mind control and weather control. Ham radio operators soon recognised that because of the distinctive sound and pattern of the transmission, this confirmed it to be an over-the-horizon radar system, but the USSR never officially confirmed its existence, despite NATO designating the site's reporting name as Steel Yard. In 1988, the United States Communications Commission conducted a study on the woodpecker and analysis showed that it had an interpulse period of 90 milliseconds, a frequency range between 7 and 19 megahertz and bandwidth of between 0.02 to 0.8 megahertz. And the typical transmission lasted 7 minutes. The Duga radar was observed using three repetition rates, 10 hertz, 16 hertz and 20 hertz. The typical bandwidth was 40 kilohertz. Due to the interference caused by the woodpecker, ham radio operators attempted to jam the signal by transmitting synchronized, unmodulated, continuous wave signals at the same pulse rate, even forming their own club, the Russian Woodpecker Hunting Club. The Duga radar stopped transmitting in 1989 due to a number of reasons. Despite this never being official public knowledge, the shift in the balance of power during the Cold War, coupled with more up-to-date missile detection technology, rendered the site obsolete. The Chernobyl nuclear disaster also had a part to play in its abandonment. The gigantic array still stands to the day, but has been permanently deactivated. Although it is a point of interest for many ham radio operators visiting the Chernobyl exclusion zone, with some even bringing their own portable equipment to connect to the antenna. Do you remember the Russian woodpecker back in the 70s and 80s? Were you part of the Russian woodpecker hunting club? Comment below. And again, thanks for watching the video. As always, please like and subscribe and share across social media. Keep your eyes open for more videos from Radio Oddities.